Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video I'm going to run through my Mixergy integration with Home Assistant. As you can see, I've got my Home Assistant open. I've got a, a tab here called Heating. This is where I display most of the information uh, related to the heating uh, in my house. So it's uh, got some information about my boiler, flow temperatures and stuff. Uh, chose burner power, call for heating, etc. And then over on the right hand side, I have some information about my Mixergy tank. So I've got a very simple illustration which shows me the current charge level. And then below that, I've got some more detailed information. It gives me the actual current charge, the temperature at the top, temperature at the bottom, low water alert, whether the indirect heating is on, that's the gas boiler or whether the electric heating is on, that's the element. And then it also tells me how much energy I've used since I've installed the integration and what the current power consumption is. Now this integration is something I've written myself. It uses the uh, Mixergy API. Um, to install it, uh, you, you can get to that via the, uh, the Home Assistant is that community store. Um, and it's available as an integration uh, through that. So once you've uh, searched for that and installed now, uh, that repository, uh, you can pop over then to your settings. If you go to devices and services, come down to add integration, search for Mixergy in there, you'll see that's added in. I haven't gotten around to updating the logo, so it's still got the original logo. So if you click on that, and then basically you just need to provide your username and password and the serial number of a Mixergy tank. That'll be something like MX00 something, whatever. That'll be, you'll find that on the tank itself. Or uh, if you're using the app, which you probably are, it'll be in there too. Um, I've already got mine set up, so you can see that's in there. And if I look at the, the device, this gives you a bit of a better idea of all the sensors that are available within the tank. You can use that to run some automation. So for example, when my tank falls below 10% charge, um, I send a notification to my phone. And when it reaches 100% charge, uh, I can send a notification to my phone. Uh, the integration does also allow you to set the state of the charge. So it does have its own service. So if I go into the developer tools and I jump over to services, there's actually two services available. So you can set the charge. So that will be a current percentage that you want the tank to charge to. And the other one is to be able to set the target temperature. Uh, that will be somewhere between 50 and 60 degrees. Uh, it depends on how hot you want the water. Uh, you can also adjust that through uh, this setting here. Um, that's it. That was a quick run through my Mixergy integration. Uh, if you do have a Mixergy tank or you run Home Assistant, yes, it's very easy to install and gives you quite a lot of information about what's going on inside your tank. So if you've either of those, I recommend you check it out. As ever, um, if you found this video useful, um, please you know like, subscribe. If you have any particular questions, add them to the comments below. Um, and thanks for watching.